I can't stop thinking about Pink Floyd's. There's something so mesmerizing about the fit this film that draws me back to it to watch once again. It helps that it's only 90 minutes, that essentially every scene has fundamentally great music. I was gonna make all of your nightmares come true. Making the pacing quite brisk. But I think in the end, it's the mix of non-literal, cohesive visuals and editing that makes this distinctively different from just listening to the music. The film also does a great job of contextualising the music and even reframing much of the story. Now, occasionally the film becomes too specific to Roger Waters' experience or too broad for interest, but it's not off topic. So in ways, it works. The sequence of Goodbye Blue Sky did, did, did you see the frightened ones? to another brick in the wall part two we don't need no education. are a highlight with extremely striking imagery. The middle of the film is a bit of a lull, although the scene where Pink <laughs> shaves all of his potty hair effectively made me just absolutely cringe. It picks back up at comfortably numb. Moving into In the Flesh, which manifests this unflinching fascist imagery where he's yelling, uh, things. Are there any queers in the audience tonight? And the opera is singing in the background. It very much leaves your mouth on the floor. The trial is so different. Caught red hand and showing feelings. In terms of musical style, but for the reflective conclusion it works. It looks back at all the madness, all the people who made Pink, who he is, who built the wall. It demands Pink, and by extension, the audience. Tear down the wall, or spiral into fascist madness. I already have an urge to revisit this film once again, between the catchy outstanding music and the jaw-dropping imagery, I will not be forgetting about the ever-present wall anytime soon. 8 out of 10.